So several weeks ago I purchased one of these Anden Star HDMI output USB microscopes for simple rework, uh, circuit inspection, stuff like that. And it's worked out fairly well. It uh, doesn't fully replace a nice stereo microscope, but it does the job. However, I was a little bit disappointed uh, with the base. It's small, it doesn't leave you a lot of room to work, especially with like a larger board, and it makes the whole assembly sort of top-heavy. Initially, I wanted to machine a larger aluminum base plate for it. However, when I took it apart over here, I realized that this whole assembly threaded in, and so do these two light stands. And to have to figure out one coming from China or wherever this was made, the thread type of this post and to find the tap and go through all that uh, hassle just wasn't worth it for me. So what I'm going to do is just cut this piece of the base off and mount it to a, a, a piece of wood. So to start I just cut a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I've coated it with an ESD coating. Uh, I believe it's called Lycron. Uh, it's available at, uh, it's manufactured by TechSpray. I'll post a link uh, to the product at the end of this video. What I plan on doing is transplanting the feet from the original base plate to the wood, cutting off the original base plate at about this point, and just screwing in and threading the new base plate into the wood. So let me get started and let's see how it works out. So here's more or less the finished product. What I did, I started by cutting this base plate part off and leaving about an inch of uh, material left to work with. And as I mentioned before, I cut about a foot by a foot piece of three quarter inch plywood and coated it with an ESD coating. I may put an ESD mat on top, but uh, this should be sufficient for what I need to do. I took the original uh, rubber feet off of the old base plate and I transplanted them onto the wood piece here. Cut a little notch out for this small cover that uh, protrudes from the bottom. And then just drilled four holes in the base and used 632 uh, by about one inch screws with nylon lock nuts on the bottom. So it didn't take much time or uh, materials to make this and uh, I hope you found this useful uh, in possibly setting up your own to be a little more conducive to working with larger boards such as this one right here. The next improvement I am going to make to this microscope is adding a ring light because these two kind of LED, uh, these movable lights here, they work but it's difficult to position the light with the ring light it's just like a stereoscope and it's a nice bright field of light that uh, you don't really have to adjust. And again, another low cost addition to this microscope, which was cheap to begin with and definitely worth the money if you're going to do a lot of rework with it. So that's a brief overview of how I modified this microscope to make it a little more useful to me. I hope you found it useful as well and we'll be using this setup to uh, do another tutorial video on soldering QFN and DFN parts very soon. See you then.